three corpses. One is older than the others. Judging by his clothing, he was a missionary. The two others are more recent, a man and a woman. Our missing couple, no doubt. They were dragged here and devoured alive. Oh, what a tragic fate. I cannot believe that these missionaries used such a ruse to achieve their goals. Two youths died because of them. Now you understand why some of us fight against Dirinaigse. Their words are always sweet, but all they bring is death. Turn to the village. Their families need to be informed.
hunter told me that I would find a nest in this area. I should come back later. It is dawn. The idea of it. I must kill the dominant one before destroying the next. <laughs> is destroyed. The Master Hunter will be relieved to hear it, I'm sure. May the beasts answer your calling, Onor Manawi. You are a brave hunter. The village will at last find peace once again. Do you have any news? Do you know where my sister is? Yes. I'm truly very sorry. Oh, no. Nah. Sir Tonsidag, please do not tell me that she is dead. I found her body in the lair of the great Tenman, not far from the clearing. But how could she have been surprised by the beasts? She knew the danger. She went out to meet the young fisherman. The time must have flown by into the night. I'm so sorry. We found them both dead. I must bring her body back to carry out the right. You should not go alone. I killed as many as I could, but it would be better to be prudent. I shall follow your counsel on all Manawi. Two deaths are enough. Thank you. Thank you. I must leave now. Well, on all Manawi, have you found my brother? I found him, but I'm truly sorry your brother is dead. May the earth welcome him. I felt it. How did it come to pass? He knew every stone on our lands. It couldn't have been an accident. He had a liaison with a young girl from the village. They would meet in a clearing. And they must have forgotten the hour. Night took them by surprise and a tenman crossed their path. I found both of them in the cavern of the beast. How terrible. Why did he go to see the girl in secrecy? They could have... 
I must recover his body. To give it up to the Earth, as is our custom. Where is it? With the body of the girl he loved, in a cavern near the clearing. But it is a dangerous place. Other Tenlands might still be roaming there. Though I did kill quite a few. I have a duty owed to my little brother. Thank you, Onol Manawi. I will not forget this. I must be leaving. The nests are destroyed, and with the death of the White Tenon, the attacks should cease. And we were even able to convince the missionaries to leave. Katasak should be willing to follow us now. Let's go and find him.
Fiery Blasts, you'll find the quintessence of alchemy. The best potions and the most efficient concoctions in all of Alsard's Greetings. Our people require the talent of a doctor, and we would prefer to have the best. But an accident is quick in coming. We wouldn't want to have to settle for second best. I do not know what these brutes want with the doctor, but we cannot let them get away with this. Well, well. What do you want? You need to leave the doctor alone. Is that so? Well, let's see if you can live up to your gigantic mouth. And death to the others! Watch out! Grenade! Terrible mess. What a bunch of idiots. Thank you for your help. I don't know where they wanted to take me, but those brutes had the most detestable manners. I'm happy to have been of service. Nevertheless, our presence was not a coincidence. Are you in need of a doctor? Indeed. My cousin is suffering from the Malachor. I know that there's no cure yet. But you still hope. Because surrender is unbearable. I know that. I came here because I couldn't bear to watch the sick die any longer. I had hoped to never see a case of this disgusting disease. Yet here you are. Your experience with the disease might be helpful in treating his symptoms while we... You hope that a few days can bring you what we couldn't find in years? You are extremely naive. I would like nothing more than to send you looking for help elsewhere. But I cannot refuse you. Not after your intervention back there. You are so helpful, and it is only right that I return the favor. I shall leave immediately for New Serene. I'll do my best to help your cousin with the pain. That's all that I'm in a position to promise. Thank you, Doctor. I won't ask for anything more. This woman is the best Alliance doctor on this island. If anyone can cure your cousin, it's her. If your science could do anything against the Malachor, the disease would have disappeared from the continent a long time ago. We can only hope that she will manage to alleviate his condition.
Don't hesitate. Goodbye. May the enlightened always keep you in his divine blessing. Don't hesitate. To Goodbye. May the enlightened always keep you in his divine blessing. Excuse me, are you Cecilius, the famous healer? I am a healer only through the grace of the Illuminated. What can I do for you, my child? My cousin, the governor of New Serene, is in dreadful pain. Well, that's terribly sad. Was he wounded in combat? Was it during the Coin Guard's rebellion? Alas, no. He is afflicted with the Malachor, and his days are numbered. We're looking for a cure, but... Now that's a true miracle that you require. And I fear that they're extremely rare in these pagan lands. Cecilius, my friend. If there's anyone on this island capable of helping the governor, it is you. Have you not been blessed by the Illuminated? Is it not your obligation to aid our allies? Without them, who knows what would have happened to our holy city during the plot? Petrus... You always knew how to weave words to get what you want. Very good. I'll go to New Serene and try to ease the governor's pain. But do not feed on vain hopes. There are trials that we must accept to undertake with humility. A thousand thanks, Cecilius. May the Illuminated go with you, my child. There is no miracle that he cannot accomplish. I will pray that you find this cure that we need so desperately. I have not lost hope. How can you believe that this Cecilius will be able to do anything? Miracles are nothing but superstitions. Because your healers can cure the Malachor? Excellent news. All I'm hoping for is that he will manage to give my cousin some time and some respite while we look for an antidote. Excuse me. You have returned. Were you able to help my village in their troubles? Not yet. Then how can I help you? 
I need to leave. Well, on all Manawi, have you found my brother? I found him, but I'm truly sorry your brother is dead. And the May the earth welcome him. I felt it. How did it come to pass? He knew every stone on our lands. It couldn't have been an accident. He had a liaison with a young girl from the village. They would meet in a clearing. And they must have forgotten the hour. Night took them by surprise and attend them across their path. I found both of them in the cavern of the beast. How terrible. Why did he go to see the girl in secrecy? They could have... I must recover his body. To give it up to the earth, as is our custom. Where is it? With the body of the girl he loved, in a cavern near the clearing. But it is a dangerous place. Other Tenlands might still be roaming there. Though I did kill quite a few. I have a duty owed to my little brother. Thank you, Onol Manawi. I will not forget this. I must be leaving. The nests are destroyed, and with the death of the White Tenland, the attacks should cease. And we are even able to convince the missionaries to leave. Katasak should be willing to follow us now. Let's go and find him. I've heard stories of your exploits. Thank you for all you've done. It's unusual for us to be offered aid by a Renaixe. It seems my Tiern was right. You are on all Manawi. How? Can you tell me more about Katasach? The Tiern. He is the best healer on the island. A good and wise man. He is very concerned about the sick under his care. He gives them all his time and energy. Our village has always had the greatest healers. And my master is as good as any of the ancestors. I hope to be as good one day. I have to go. Kwa'awelemse. I can see from your face that you were victorious. Indeed. I put the White Tenlin down, who was enraging his kind, and destroyed their nests. The attack should no longer trouble you. I also encourage the missionaries to leave. They will not return. I regret that violence was necessary to make them go, but I thank you all the same. In the end, we found the missing young ones, but alas, it was too late. Devoured by wild beasts. Undivorced tear end. You did well on all Manawi. Now they should be able to find the rest. Will you agree to accompany me now? My cousin needs your help. I have packed what is needed. I am ready to journey with you.
It'll be the death of me. I can't control my body. It's like being a stranger in a marionette set ablaze. Consumed by a smoldering fire. The moment's growing near, isn't it? Am I about to surrender my ghost to the Reaper of Souls? You pop in just when you're needed, cousin, as always. Who are you? Your hand is cold as ice. Your cousin is burning. That is such a relief. Let me present Katisach, Constantine. He is the greatest healer on the island. He will help you. Please, stay. I am here for you, Rnaikse. And I will not leave until I found a way to ease your pain and suffering. Fill your mind with the patience of the ocean. I know not how much time I will need. I've never seen such a sickness. The spirits of your lands must be quite horrendous to cast down such evils upon the peoples that live there. Thank you. Neither science surgeon nor mage doctor could do a damn thing to alleviate my pain. I give you my last ounce of hope. Thank you, cousin. I don't want to imagine my plight without your intervention. My dear cousin, come closer and tell me what brings you... Uh... Constantine, is it true? Are you in great pain? This sickness is horrible, believe me. Now I understand what your mother went through. But you have not come to hear my complaints. Speak, it will give me something else to ponder. Any news of your parents? No. With the time it takes to travel to the continent, it's not surprising. But I don't miss them. My father's next letter will certainly be full of his usual disdain. As for my mother, you know her. She's probably too busy planning her next assassination to have noticed my absence. I'm going Look to... out for yourself. Greetings, Katasak. We're dear to Matt. What can I do for you? Now that you've seen my cousin, what are your thoughts on the Malachor? It is a terrible disease. I have never seen one like it. It slowly gnaws through the people it afflicts. The roys and the legs gradually die because of the black blood. And the pain it induces is atrocious. My potions are barely enough to calm your cousin. But if you're asking if I know how to cure it, I have no idea. It's a disease coming from a world that isn't ours, and which I'm not familiar with. How is my cousin doing? He's filled with dread as death approaches. Forgive him his mood swings. He's such a young boy, and he had so much desire to live. Thanks to my treatment, he suffers less. But his disease is getting worse and I don't know what to do. It would take a power far superior to mine to break the grasp of this evil. I'm looking to meet Enon Mil Frichtemann. I went all the way to the village council. But they did not let you speak to Glendan the Elder. Precisely. They said that only the friends of a member of the council might enter. This seal will allow you to give voice to the friends of your clan, those who may speak in your name. Here, friend of Wenshavier, take my seal and go and meet Glendan. But you must convince him and no doubt pass many trials. Many monsters and traps are hidden on the path you seek to follow. Thank you, Katasach. Why are you helping me? I do not wish to lose the one who placed his life in my hands.
And you have already shown me your friendship. I hope that Glendan will allow you to meet this god, cousin. Leave as soon as you can. Godspeed. Have no fear. I'll do whatever it takes. I must go. What are Willem sick? Have you considered my proposition? Very well. Let's go and discover what the governor would rather keep hidden from the world. Excellent. How would you like to go about this? We must search her apartments in St. Matthias. They'll be guarded, of course. But if we are discreet, that shouldn't be a problem. This is taking quite a risk. The congregation's reputation could suffer if we're caught, and my cousin's position would be weakened. I know, but keep in mind that I know the palace extremely well. And if we want to be sure to pass without being noticed, we need only dress ourselves up as servants. That would improve our chances. Well, let's do it. Don't hesitate to have a run.
Goodbye. May the Enlightened always keep you in his divine blessing. Your Eminence, I salute. Sir de Sardé. What will become of the members of the Ordo Luminous? Domitius will be sent back to the mainland and will be judged alongside some of his most vindictive colleagues. The Ordo Luminous as a whole cannot be held responsible for the errors of only one of its members. We need the Inquisitors, so some of them will continue their mission. I must leave you. No. May the enlightened bless you.
this is a very unique place. The smell of stupor and vice reign as its masters. You're not wrong. We should search this place. Oh, for goodness sake! This room reeks of alcohol. And not just any old alcohol, if my nose does not deceive me. Cornelia always had great taste when it came to drinking. This document is highly important. By reading it carefully, you could learn a lot. The Mother Cardinal apparently borrows large amounts of money from a moneylender. Actually, enormous sums. What's more, she does so quite regularly. How does she manage to give it all back? Hmm. And the name Candy Cane crops up several times. Quite suspicious, don't you think? This sweet person must be doing her huge favors to get these sums. Let's rummage around some more. We may find something else. It seems that someone forgot their earring. Ugh. Here is an object of more than questionable taste. A woman from a good family would never wear it. It's junk. The kind of thing a courtesan would wear. I didn't know you were an expert on the subject, Father. The subject of jewelry? No, of courtesans. We are here at the heart of human depravity. Outrageous luxury, excessively priced alcohol, obvious debauchery. Surely this is enough to incriminate the Mother Cardinal? No, my child. These things are common in certain circles, even in Teleme, unfortunately. Cornelia may well have organized these things for others. These parties might be of use in gaining some political favor. We must find out who is involved and learn more. The earring that we found may help us with that. We could ask at the brothel if it belongs to a prostitute. We should also follow the trail left by this document, my child. The moneylender may give us information about the famous candy cane. We should also question the manager of the tavern while passing through. He will surely have some information to give us. Or to sell us. Can I help you? Yes, actually. I have a small favor to ask. You don't look like you need money from me. I know that you know the Mother Cardinal. She borrowed money from you on several occasions. I want to know why. Where did you find that out? Hmm? Who told you? I want to know why she borrows money from you. Lending money is my job. It's not illegal. And I don't have to give you an answer.
I imagine that the name Candy Cane rings a bell. Obviously. All of San Mateus knows that name. Can you tell me about him? I don't know him personally. We've never been introduced. But rumor has it that he often hangs out in the basement at the Coin Tavern. You ask far too many questions. My guys will make you regret sticking your nose in other people's business. Yeah! 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 Yeah!